Whoa, easy there, scammer. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. That's it. You're dead. You crossed the road. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got a better idea. You take care of Wolfgang. I'll pay you a hundred caps to put a bullet between his eyes. You're not dealing with Wolfgang anymore. You're dealing with me. Now hand over that money before this gets ugly. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Hope you've made your peace. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secured. There's no need to scrutinize the details. Capable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. <sighs> this is ridiculous. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Oh, of course you do. Now tell me the one about you and the fish that got away. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. And we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid the starting rate, like everybody else. If you turn out to be as useful as you claim, then we can talk about a raise. By the way... Put the gun down, now! He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Shame. Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here now. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me! And her! Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy! Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Maybe I just think you deserve some time off. Maybe I like this one's face. I don't know. I usually got a good sense about this sort of thing. So what do you say? Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. Don't you try to confuse me! Get him, Skinny! <laughs> Skinny's no good for you, Darla. You put a bullet in him, I just might let you go. What kind of girl do you think I am? Kill him, Skinny! <laughs> You got something to say? Say it to me! Look at yourself. Darla is playing you for a sap. You're better than this. You're better than her. No one tells Skinny Malone how to run his affairs. I've had enough of this. Time for the hard goodbye. <laughs> this is all just a misunderstanding, Skinny. You know that. You let us walk and we won't come back. Like hell you won't! Don't you get it? 
All the other crews in the area will see this as weakness. Then they'll come for me. Sorry. Time to give you both the hard goodbye. Blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. Not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. Geneva, I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key from me. Why do you want it so badly anyway? Just trust me. It's important. You have my word. You really thought that would work, didn't you? I don't think so. Please, just give me a chance. The man who owned that house, he was a monster. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You'd better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? All the more reason to help out a fellow vault then. All outsiders do is take advantage of you. You're nothing but selfish animals. How do you know? Did something happen? Let's just say I learned my lesson the hard way. Hey lady, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. If you're that cheap, forget it. You can find your own way around. Who's there? Let me out! Who are you? What does that matter? Just let me out. I just want to go home. I want to find my mom and dad. I hate to tell you this, but your parents are probably dead. Sorry, Billy. I don't believe you. They are alive and looking for me. Can you please take me to them? Or at least to my old house? The house is empty. Looks like they left in a hurry. You don't mind if we check for ourselves, do you? You should have taken my offer the first time. Oh, God. Don't. Tell you what. Give me one good reason why I should spare your life. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. Is that so? Well, sorry. I don't see any other option to solve this. Please be a good target and stand still, so you can die faster and suffer only a little. And you too, hotshot. Time! Look, let's just get out of here. You okay? Yes, I'm alright. Let's just leave this place already. I need to be away from this place right now. I guess you don't need those notes or the holotapes. Let me help.